Hey, welcome back guys to another Minecraft train tutorial. So in this tutorial, we're going to be building the Amfleet 2 coaches, which is part of the Amtrak Crescent. And I have two of them right over here. So one of them, this is a standard Amfleet 2 coach. Here's what it looks like on side and the other side. And the way it's different from an Amfleet 1 is that its door window is bigger and a bit like taller. Also, there's only one door for the whole car right here. While the Amfleet 2, they have a smaller window and it's on both ends. But, you know, in this video, we're just making the Amfleet 2 because that's what's on the Amtrak Crescent. And the other car right over here, this is the Amtrak Cafe car. And here's what it looks like. And here's the other side view of it. So each side is going to be different, of course. And this is actually commissioned by Trainmaster3985, so thanks to him for making this video possible. So here's what the Amtrak Crescent looks like. We have the consist. There is two P42DC locomotives in the front, followed by three of these Amfleet 2, or actually Amfleet, yeah, Amfleet 2 coaches. Then it's followed by an Amfleet 2 diner car, and then a Viewliner diner car, and this is the Viewliner 2. And then we have the Viewliner 1, uh, two sleeping cars. And then at the end, there is a Viewliner 2 bag dorm car. Now, uh, in the previous video that I posted, someone is like commenting, wow, that someone just commissioned one single car and the cost of line, it's a scam or whatever. Uh, but that's not true. We have five different types of cars in this consist, so I think that is a pretty fair price. And here's just the PSA that when you commission a train, you can commission the entire train set. Although it does have to be like, reasonable and like regularly attached and this is the Amtrak Crescent so just be aware of that and also uh, that person probably didn't watch the whole entire video because I explained that uh, later in the intro probably just watched the first like five seconds you know most of the people like 50% of the people they don't even watch uh, past 30 seconds of the video in the intro. So thanks to all the people who actually watched the whole entire introduction. I appreciate you. And uh, if you're the first person to see this, you can write in the comments, uh, I like pizza, and I will heart your comment and do not tell anyone about it. So first person to do it, maybe like first five people, I don't know. Depends on how many people actually see this. I think the majority of people, they don't actually watch, so they will not get what you're saying I like pizza for. But anyways, let's get started on the Amfleet 2. All right, so we're gonna get started by building this base car, and this is gonna be the same car for the Amfleet 2, the Viewliner 2, and the Viewliner 1 cars. So to get started on that, we're gonna take some materials, take out blackstone brick block, I mean slab uh, wall, dark oak slab, dark oak fence gate, black concrete, polish andesite stairs, block and slab. And let's see, an iron trap door. So first off, uh, each of the cars are gonna be 39 blocks long, excluding the couplings. So we'll go right over here, add in a dark oak fence gate, add another one to the side, open that up. And for now, I'm just building one half of it. And then we'll add in a dark oak slab on top. All right, so then behind it, we'll add in this polished blackstone brick block. And then to the side of it, we'll add in black concrete. And then we'll add in polished blackstone brick slab at the front. And then to the side, we're going to add in these three polished andesite stairs. And the third one's going to be cornered. Then we'll add in an iron trap door in the bottom corner. Then we'll add in a polished blackstone brick wall. I'm going to make it three blocks tall like this. Add polished blackstone brick slab at the top on the inner area and then we'll add in a light gray glass pane on top of the wall here and a light gray carpet right on top of this slab add in <laughs> polish andesite block and a slab then two blocks tall black concrete and a slab in the front of that gonna be our doorway Then we'll add in this warped fence gate right at this edge here and we'll open it up all right, so next we're gonna take out polished blackstone brick slabs. We're gonna add two here. And then we're gonna add in five black concretes. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll add two over here, blackstone brick wall, and then two more black concretes. Well, the wheel, we'll take out 
um, gray terracotta, hopper, polished uh, blackstone brick stairs, also dark oak uh, stairs. So let's go over here and we'll add in this gray terracotta, hopper side of it, upside down, dark oak stairs, skip a block and do the same thing just in the other direction. Add in dark oak fence gates in between the wheels for the axles. And then the inside of this, we're going to add in nether brick slabs. All the way across like that. And then polished black stone brick stairs facing inwards. Inside of these hoppers. And a polished black stone brick slab in the middle of that. So, then at the top, we'll add in two upside down. Polished black stone brick stairs like that. And then a polished and a site stairs right to the side of that wall, upside down like that. All right, next we'll take out polish and a site slab, and this part is going to be 27 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 6, 27. And once we reach this point, we'll add in that polished andesite stairs upside down. And then two of those polished blackstone brick stairs like that. And then we're going to pretty much build the same exact thing. You'll see like the stairs over here. They're going to be the exact same over here. You just build the other half. And we also have to add in a dark oak fence gate in front of this other fence gate on the ends. The same thing on the other side. Like that. Alright, so once you have both halves, it should look like this, and that's it for this basis car. Alright, so now we're going to make a base car for both amp fleets. So to do that, we'll take out polished andesite block. We're going to add three blocks tall next to this window. Then we'll add in a stone brick block here, lapis lazuli on top, and a brick slab on top of that. And we'll go to the other side, and we'll do the same thing, so polish andesite. A stone brick block at the bottom, lapis lazuli, and a brick slab. All right, then we're gonna change these glass panes into iron bar, so replace that. And then on the roof, we're gonna add in these two stone brick uh, blocks right here, and then stone brick slab on the side. And go on the other side, and we'll do the same thing. Now I just accidentally griefed myself. Two stone brick blocks and stone brick slab. All right, so next up, we're going to add in the door on this side. So that's going to be polish and a site block. And then polish and a site slab. And then behind it, two blocks tall black concrete. And polish and a site slab at the top of this. All right, and then we're going to add in uh, two more stone brick slabs. And then this black stone brick slab, stone brick slab, black stone brick slab, and then stone brick slab. Go to the other side and do the same thing. So two more stone brick slabs, black stone, stone brick, black stone, stone brick. Like that. All right, then we're going to add in a stone brick block at the bottom here. And then we're going to extend this stone brick so it goes all the way across to the other side. So just set it all up, stone brick. And for the roof as well, just extend this roof area stone brick on top, like that. And then this uh, inner portion is going to be stone brick slabs. So just fill that in as well. So it's filled in like that. All right. So once we've done that, we're going to take out lapis lazuli, and we're going to add in, uh, let's say, four to this side. So one, two, three, four. Go on the other end. We'll add in lapis lazuli. Skip two blocks and then two lapis lazuli. And inside here, we'll add in this smooth quartz stairs back to back, upside down, and lapis lazuli inside. All right, then we're going to go across um, the side of the carriage and we're going to extend this polished andesite and this brick slab all the way across. So it should look like this. All right, and then we're going to take out a birch button, add that right over here. And then we'll also add in a birch button down over here, go on the other side, add a birch button down here, 
birch button over here and another one on this edge and then a blackstone button next to that one like that. All right, so next we're gonna add some glass. So take out black glass and we're gonna add two here, skip a block two and we wanna make sure that this side has four windows. So one, two, three and then four. Then go on the other side and we're gonna make sure this side has five windows. So one, two, three, four, and then five, like that. And there should be a gap of two in the middle. And I'm gonna fill in the rest of this space with lapis lazuli, like that. And then we'll fill in the inner side of these windows with black concrete, all the way across. So it should look like this. Next, we'll go on the bottom of this in the end, and we'll add in a black concrete, and then another brick fence. Go on the other side, and we'll add in two nether brick fences like this. And then we'll go above those fences and add in black concrete on top. Fill that in as well on the other side like that. Okay, next we're gonna change this uh, polish and site stairs into a slab on um, both ends. All right, then we're gonna take out polished blackstone bun. We're gonna add a pair underneath this gap here. All right, so next we'll go to the wheels here, delete these stairs and slab. And instead of the middle here, we'll add in that polished blackstone brick slab. And then we'll add in a dark oak um, fence gate. And this is gonna be on the end that's closest to the middle. And then a uh, dark oak trap door right there on the other side. And go on the other side, do the same thing, just the other direction. So polished blackstone brick slab. And the fence gate close to the middle and trapdoor for the other one. Now, when I was originally recording the tutorial for the Amfleet uh, 2, the regular coach, I forgot to include this detail. So you may see I'm gonna use uh, like another bogey design, but I switched it later on. All right, so yeah, this is it for our base car. Now this is where we're gonna diverge paths into making either the standard coach versus the cafe car. So I'm gonna make a copy of this. All right, so first we're gonna make the standard coach. So we're gonna take this side and build the same thing on the other half. All right, so now we're gonna work on the bottom of this car. So let's go down here, add in gray concrete. We're gonna make it four blocks long. So one, two, three, four. And then we'll add in this polished blackstone brick slabs underneath, like that. And we'll extend it another two blocks. On top, we'll add in polish and a site block and then a black concrete. Then we're gonna add in these two upside down, polished blackstone brick stairs, and a slab at the bottom corner here. A slab up over here, another slab, and then a stairs. And then we'll add in um, two more slabs, actually three more slabs like that. And then on the other side, we'll add in polished blackstone brick stairs, two blocks long like that. Let's go back onto this side. And then we're gonna add in uh, these dark oak fence gates. Let's make it six blocks long. So one, two, three, uh, four, five, and six. Then over here, we'll add in gray concrete, three blocks long, polished blackstone brick slab. And then polished blackstone, we'll make it two blocks long gray concrete, dark oak trap door underneath it, and then a black stone brick slab, gray concrete, and then black stone brick slab, and then another brick stairs upside down, and then another another brick stairs facing the other way upside down. Then inside here we'll add in a black concrete, and then a polish and a site block. Go back over here and add in two dark oak trap doors underneath these stairs. Polish blackstone brick slab. And then a gray concrete polished blackstone brick slab underneath. And then polish blackstone brick slab underneath like that. Then we're gonna go to the other side. 
And we're going to go to all the places that we have exposed in the middle. We'll just fill this in with dark oak fence gates. All the way across. So it should look like this. So first off, we'd go to this end here. And we're going to add in upside down, polish, black stone brick. Stairs here. And a slab. And then three nether brick fences. Dark oak trap doors underneath them. And then two uh, gray concretes. A bit hard to grab them from here. Two of them like that. Polished black stone brick slabs underneath. And we'll fill in this area here. Polished black stone brick slab. And go back over here. And we'll add in another brick fence. And then polished black stone brick slab. Two blocks long. Gray concrete. Two blocks long. And we'll add dark oak trap doors underneath. Add in two nether brick fences, upside down nether brick stairs, and then upside down black stone brick stairs, and then a pair of dark oak trap doors. Then we'll add in a black stone brick wall, and we'll add in an iron trap door underneath that. Then we'll add in a gray concrete and polished black stone brick slab underneath. And then right over here to the side, we'll add a chain block sideways and go on the other side, add in another chain block sideways like that. All right, so once you do that, that is pretty much it on how to build Amplit 2 regular coach. Now we're going to convert this base car into making the cafe car. All right, so once we have this base car, for the cafe car, what we're going to do, we're going to fill in some of these windows. So we're going to count these three windows here, and then after it, uh, these two windows in the middle, they're going to be filled in with lapis lazuli like that. All right, and then we're going to go on the roof here, add in light gray carpet, dark oak button. So we're going to add in the light gray carpet, a row of three, lines up with this window pillar here. And then we'll skip two blocks, add in a dark oak button, skip block, dark oak button like that on the roof. All right, then we're going to copy what we did on this side and build the other half. All right, so once we have both halves, on the other side, this side's going to have only two windows, and they're going to be offset by one. So pretty much, you're going to have to delete this window here. And we're going to move these two windows along with these two buttons. Just one block to the left, like that. So this part's a little wider now. So it should look like this. All right, now we're going to go on the bottom. Let's work on that. So take out polished black stone brick slab. Could add in two here. Another brick slab. I mean a fence. Gray concrete, two blocks long. Polished black stone brick slabs underneath, and then two stairs at the top section. Another brick fence, and then two black stone brick slabs, and then two gray concretes. And then a dark oak trap door underneath that. And then another brick fence. A gray concrete, two blocks long. Dark oak trap doors underneath. Another brick fence. Polished black stone brick slab. And then a dark oak uh, fence gate. Then um, polished black stone brick slabs all the way across to the bogey. Like that. And let's go on to the other side, right over here. All right, so for this side, we'll add in a polished black stone brick slab here, another brick fence, gray concrete, polished black stone brick slab at the bottom of that, polished black stone brick wall here, and then upside down, uh, polished black stone brick stairs, and another one upside down. It's going to be another brick stairs. Then we'll add in a pair of dark oak trap doors underneath it. And then we'll add in a uh, back to back, um, upside down, polished black stone brick stairs right over there. And then we'll add in this polished inside block right on the inside of that polished black stone. And then a black concrete right next to it, like that. All right, so let's go back over here. And we'll add in a gray concrete. It's going to be two blocks long. 
that and then polish blackstone brick slab and then we'll need to add in to polish uh blackstone uh yeah it's pretty much just to polish blackstone i guess like that and upside down blackstone brick stairs and then following that a gray concrete and then polish blackstone brick slab gray concrete and then another brick stairs black concrete inside and then a polish anisite block in front of that and then polish blackstone brick stairs upside down right there and then two dark oak trap doors underneath the stairs and then we'll add in a blackstone brick wall a gray concrete and then a polished blackstone brick slab underneath here. And another brick fence up here. And then polished blackstone brick slab right over there. All right, so once we have that, we're gonna fill in the remaining gaps in the middle with dark oak fence gates. So see this area in the front here, just fill this in with a uh, dark oak fence gate. It's gonna be a bit tricky to do though. Just gonna hop around here middle section just fill this in fence gates and fence gates inside of this section all the way across because there's going to be some piping or like the air brakes I think that's what they're for I think that's filled in and this part of right over here just fill this in all the way across all right and then if you want to you can fill in like the under parts of this with black concrete but you know from the side view, most of the time when you see this coach, you're not going to look at the underside of it unless you're like a mechanic or something. Alright, so once you're doing that, that is pretty much it on how to make the Amfleet 2 cars in Minecraft. And thanks to Trainmaster3985 for commissioning the build and making this video possible. If you guys do enjoy the video, hit the like button down below, subscribe if you had already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.